Hi friends, today we're going to make an easy DIY pine cone wreath for under $10. My name is Cindy and I'm with Reinvented Delaware and I'm so glad that you're here, welcome. You're going to enjoy this project. First of all, let's gather some pine cones, including the ones that haven't opened up yet. The next step is to clip them. Now you need these floral snips to separate the little pine cones into individual flowers. It's amazing when you start to cut them, how they actually look like flowers. Aren't they so pretty? All the supplies will be listed down below in the description and many of them you can just grab at Walmart. So I have all the colors that I used and they'll be linked down below. Thanks so much for shopping through our links. That really does help to support me and our channel so that I can continue to bring you these free tutorials. You'll need some water, the cut, cut up pine cones, a small artist brush, lots of the colors that I just showed you, a paper down on your surface if you're worried about getting the surface messy, a paper plate, and then just some something fun to listen to like a podcast or an audiobook. Painting the pine cones is very easy, but I will warn you, this will damage an artist's brush because it's, it's kind of a rough painting. So don't get a fancy brand of artist brush. Just use one that you have on hand that's already damaged or a cheap pack from Walmart. I'll try to link some down below. When you're painting these pine cones, you really need to get into the crevices and that's, you can see there how you can damage that paintbrush. I painted just the tops. You can paint the tops and the bottoms if you like. Of course, some paint is going to get on the bottom of the petals, however it is. Just work the color in there and make it as pretty as you can. Now, I painted a whole bunch in each color before I moved on to the next color. That just seemed to be the logical way to do it. I used the colors that I had on hand from previous projects, but I did not have any kind of an orange tone. And I thought that that would be an important color to have during fall, because if you see the fall leaves outside, well, you know, there's all the reds and yellows and greens, and then of course, orange color. So I mixed my own with the red that I had on hand and that deep rich yellow that I had on hand. And I just went back and forth until I got the color that I wanted. And that was kind of a muted orange color. I love how the color looks. While I was painting the pine cones, I also thought of mums, and mums come in these exact kind of colors, including like an off-white. So I did grab my off-white color there, it's called drop cloth, and I sprinkled in a few of those. By the way, this would make a beautiful wreath for winter in all whites. You can also see that I added this deep rich purple. Have you seen the beautiful purple maroon colored mums? They're so pretty. Didn't make a lot of these pine cones in this color, but I did add enough just for some interest. Look at all the gorgeous fall colors. Doesn't this just make you want fall to be here? I'm so excited to put this wreath together. You can see that I did not paint a lot of pine cone flowers. I just painted a few. And depending on what kind of look you're going for for your wreath, you can paint few or you can paint a lot. That's all your choice. Putting the wreath together is so easy. I have this really thin brown craft wire. I will be sure to link it. I use this wire a lot. I have a package of raffia that I got from Walmart and then an 18 inch wire frame that I also got at Walmart. What I did was I just opened up the package and I just kind of spread it out a little bit so that the end where it's cut would not be so blunt and it would 
kind of blend in a little bit. You see, it gets kind of messy. Now, I also did not tie the raffia on to be super neat. I wanted a really loose, um, free kind of messy look to this. I just used the wire and I twisted it around and wrapped it around to the back. And you see, I left some long tails on that wire. So when you cut the wire, cut it a little longer than you think you need, twist it around a couple times and move to the next area and leave those long pieces exposed. We're gonna use those in just a few minutes. I'm showing you how to make a wreath, but I've also made pine cone flower stems and I use them to make a really pretty arrangement. I'll link the video down below to show you how to make these. You could do this in fall colors as well. I grabbed some greenery that had some fall colors in it. It was that muted yellows and warm tones there that you see in that greenery. And I just started deciding where I might place these. Now I haven't attached them, I'm just laying them on top. I'm just starting to go through the design process. And what I settled on was I would take three of the pine cones at each section where I added the wire and I would attach three pine cones together like in a little cluster. I planned on having the greenery behind it. You see what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of getting an idea of what I want to do and I'm just laying it all on top. You can do the same. Just lay things out the way you think that they would look nice and then just go from there. That's exactly what I did here without any pre-planning. I just came up with this idea on the spot. You can see how the tail end of these wires comes in handy. I used that long tail end and I just wrapped it around the base of one of the pine cones. N not too tight. I mean, I just wrapped it around just enough to hold it on. Then I wrapped the next one with the other wire, or I think in this case I used the same wire. Just enough to secure it on. My plan is to one day disassemble this wreath form and use the form and the raffia for another project. I like to reuse things. I like to change things. You all know that by now. I just used the wire to secure the pine cones. I did have to use some hot glue to attach that third pine cone because I didn't cut my wire long enough. Now, if you cut your wires and leave the tails even longer than I did, you won't have to use hot glue for this part. Once I got a system of how I was going to attach these clusters of three, I just went around the whole thing and everywhere where I had attached the raffia with the wire, I also attached little clusters of the three pine cones. I didn't measure any of this out. I just eyeballed it. I wanted a free form kind of relaxed look. I don't like things to be measured too much with something like this. I don't think it's necessary. The next step was to add the greenery. I grabbed the little clusters that I had cut from the original uh, bunch and I just stuck them behind the pine cones, making sure that I tucked the end into the wire that had held the raffia on. Then I started placing the painted pine cones in the general area where I thought that they would look good. And I tried to make groupings using like one or so of each color in between the three clusters of pine cones. And first of all, I just laid them out to see how it would look and make sure that it looked balanced, not perfect, but balanced in color. I didn't want to have a whole bunch of yellow ones in one spot and not enough in another and, and that kind of thing. So even though I did not count how many pine cone flowers I painted, I just evenly spaced them out so that it would look good and natural. 
Once the pine cone flowers were placed, I went back over the whole thing and I used some hot glue to glue them in place. I didn't use a lot of hot glue because like I said, I plan on taking this apart one day. You know, after you use that glue gun on a whole lot of pieces like this, you have those glue gun strings all over the place. So I took that artist brush that was clean and I could just go through and kind of pick pick them up and gather them in my hand. And I was able to get rid of most of them. I think a few more were left on there, but for the most part, I was able to gather them up and throw them out. Then I started grabbing these little pine cones that were not open yet. They're the cutest little thing. They're about the size of my pinky, so they're real tiny. And I thought that they would just add another interest. So I glued those in the clusters of the opened pine cones. Now these could be painted if you wanted to, that would be really pretty. I just thought the natural look would look really nice. And then with all the pretty colors of the pine cone flowers, oh, I'm loving how this wreath is turning out. If you're enjoying this project, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to our channel. It's a great way to support us and it is absolutely free to you. Thanks so much. We really appreciate your support. Before we hang that pine cone wreath, I need to take this basket of faux hydrangeas down. This was my arrangement for my spring and summer look. In fact, I think I have this in a video and I will link that video down below. And I wanna tell you how I hang things on my front door. This is kind of weird, but the lady that I used to take care of, if you don't know, I was a caretaker for an elderly woman for about 18 years. She was very precious to me. And she taught me this little trick. She would put a nail at the very top of her door with a flat head on it and nail it all the way down, just a little bit of gap, enough to wrap a thin piece of floral wire at the top to make a long piece. So that's what I do. That nail stays there year round. It's been there for 20 years. And I just take the thin brown craft wire that I have and I have a piece hanging down and at any time I can just change out the wreath or the basket like I had before. I just loop it around the wire of that wire frame and there's my wreath. And even the back side of it looks pretty good. Now it might not be perfect. Maybe I could have done something on the back side of it, but I'm okay with this look. Let me know what you think. Should I add something to the back of this wreath? Should I just leave it? I don't know. You tell me. Here's a little behind the scenes of me recording with my phone. So let me know what you think of this wreath. Isn't it so pretty? I can see this wreath in all sorts of colors. This could be spring with all the pastel colors of spring. This could be in colors of summer. Think of your floral garden and the colors that you have there. This would also be gorgeous in all whites. In fact, I might have to make something like that for winter, for the Christmas and the winter season. I hope you enjoyed making this easy DIY fall wreath for your front door. I'm loving mine. I'm, it's August, but I'm going to start enjoying it now. All the supplies are going to be linked down below in the description, the paints, the wreath frame, the raffia. Some of this stuff you can just get at Walmart, so go ahead and get it there. But I'll link my exact paint colors and all of that down below in the description. If you make one for yourself, be sure to let me know down in the comments. And also, if you have any questions about this project or any of our projects that we share here on YouTube, be sure to ask. I mean, you're f feel free to ask. You can ask here in the comments. You can email me. It's cindy at reinventeddelaware.com. You'll see also over on reinventeddelaware.com a full blog post tutorial of this project and a whole lot more. I have a lot to share over there. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and click on that thumbs up. And it really does help me when you do that. And subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. We'll see you next time.